Middle Lake is located on the edge of Lucian Lake Regional Park and Lucian Lake. It is a resort-like community. We walk down from our houses to the park and have ice creams at night, stuff like that. There's also a retirement home uh, situated on the edge of the lake. We're very proud of Birch Manor. It's, it was one of the first assisted living homes in the province, and we try to keep a very homey atmosphere, not a lot of you know, rules and regulations, that sort of thing. We want the residents to feel at home. Sask Environment was uh, urging us to replace our lift station, uh, which we've done, and at the same time, they were urging the Bethany Care Home to upgrade their water system. Bethany Pioneer Village is a fairly unique uh, facility to the province. We have independent living, we have the assisted living, and then the full care. Our water here was very hard and uh, was very hard on all our systems and equipment. Our dishwashers were corroded, the dishes had a film on them, sometimes we'd soak them in vinegar and that would help some. Uh, we used lots of salt, we had water softeners, but it just couldn't keep up with the problem. In the early stages of, of planning the project, um, I remember a, a local businessman in town called me and asked me, Canton, what can we do to get better water in this town? My response to him was that this was not an individual thing that one councillor can do, but that it has to be a community project. And it just made sense to our community looking at our plant and the age of it to apply for a grant and uh, implemented the new plant for not only our community but for the care home as well. I was born and raised here, went to school here, uh, gone for a few years, moved back. This project is probably one of the best things that's happened to Middle Lake in a long, long time. Uh, we had a, a system here that was probably 40 to 50 years old maybe. With the new water system, we should be set up for many, many years to come. With this new water uh, system, the reverse osmosis, it's just been very nice and uh, now we can drink our tap water, which we could not do before. And uh, so, and our, all our toilets and everything, uh, very easy to clean and all our uh, fixtures are shiny once again. So it's been very nice and the residents appreciate that they can now get water right at their room if they so choose. Lots of people in our village and surrounding were buying bottled water to drink. That has now ceased and the locals are able to drink tap water as if it was reverse osmosis bottled water. Without that funding, our project, we would have probably been like a lot of other communities waiting for something to fail. Um, the funding gave us the ability to mathematically afford the project. Like, they're, they're big numbers, and I know for a small community, and there was a lot of um, coffee shop talk, if you will, about what our water and sewer rates were going to be in the future. So between all of the grants and programs that were in place, um, it, it was the deal breaker whether we went ahead or not. I think it's always wonderful, wonderful for the community to get together on, on, on situations like this because you need each other, you know, and I think it develops a good rapport between all of the community, the town, and I just think it's a really good thing when everybody gets involved. It's phenomenal. It makes me feel at ease. It's meant everything to us.